Hello and welcome to this video tutorial, Introduction to the Dispatch Map Functions. The Dispatch Map is the launching point for several functions, including contact with your customers. Robocalling, dispatching, the daily time report, and shortcuts to other venues can all be found here. The first feature we'll discuss is dispatching to your technicians. If you're using SD Mobile, the routes will be uploaded automatically to the server via the SD Mobile link. Alternatively, you can provide route information to each tech individually by clicking on the tech's name. This will bring up all your routing information. These individual options will be discussed in another video. Alt-P will give you a list of alternative functions. If you pick D, you will be given the same list of dispatch options as for a single tech, but your choice will apply to your entire roster of technicians. The next feature you can launch from the dispatch map is robocalling. You have multiple options here. If you're already using SD CyberOffice, you can choose to send robocalls, email confirmations, or both. This option provides direct integration and appointment confirmation. If you're not using SD CyberOffice and have your own robocalling service, you may choose Alt-P and select to export the day's appointments. The included fields will allow you to use the list with outside robocalling services. If you're not using SD CyberOffice, you can still choose to email your customers. However, a link for your website will not be included in these emails. Instead, your customer will be instructed to either call your office or respond to the email. If you're using SD Mobile, the next feature available here is the DTR, or Daily Time Report Viewer. It allows you to review your text clock ins and clock outs. This is accessed via Alt T. We'll page up to an archive day and choose Alt T. And now we can view when the technician started, when they clocked out for breaks, travel, lunch, etc. Some users find they prefer to have a printed schedule available to them. Alt-P gives you several options for printing the day's roster and the entire schedule list. The dispatch map also gives you quick access to several other venues. Shift plus right click on an appointment will open the schedule list to the selected appointment. This is extremely helpful when you're dealing with pages of scheduling. Control plus right click will open the underlying job record. Shift plus Alt plus right click on an appointment will open the post visit report. Selecting S on your keyboard will open your zone scheduler. You may also set a couple of parameters from the dispatch map. The first is for invoice printing. If you're printing paper tickets, you can set what kind of ticket to print and when. For example, if you use a single multi-part ticket throughout the entire job, then you can choose to have no ticket printed if the appointment is a second visit. For routing purposes, you can set each technician's starting and ending points. Some techs may start at the office, 
while others may start from their homes or from a warehouse location. This can be done from the settings form found at Control F1. Once this information is set, it will be used for showing the technician's route. This concludes this video. Thank you for watching. Introduction to the Dispatch Map Functions.